welcome. Um, try this problem on your own. Pause the video, give it a shot, and then we'll solve it together. All right, let's read the question. What is the equation of the line that passes through the point 4, 12, and has a y-intercept of negative 2? Well, an easy way to think about this is to recognize that we can use the structure mx plus b for a line. Now, what this means is this little structure says that y will always equal m, the slope, times x, so it's slope is for m, times x plus the y-intercept, right? This is the template that always works for every line. There are other templates, but this one is great. So, well, sorry, they're all great. I like this one, though, and it happens to match this equation because they're all in mx plus b. You can see these slopes here, 6, 2, 7 over 2, 5 over 2, and the intercepts are all negative 2, right? So you can see that this is already set up for mx plus b. So um, the y-intercept is negative 2, right? And they're telling us it passes through the point 4, 12. So the only thing left to find is the slope. Well, if, if the point of one point is 4, 12, and the other point is 0, negative 2, I knew it was 0, negative 2. It's a y-intercept. That means it's on the y-axis. It's like here. So 0, negative 2. So here, we got 0, negative 2, and 4, 12 up here somewhere. We're trying to find what's the slope of this line. You could graph it. You could think how far up and over does it go to get from one point to another. Remember, slope is simply rise over run. Right? How far up do we go? What's that distance? It's called delta y, or the rise, divided by the run. So if you can picture that already from this sketch, you would know. Just find delta y, how far up from 0, negative 2 to 4, 12, and how far over, and then divide those two numbers. That's your slope. But I'm going to use the equation instead of relying on the graph here. Uh, the equation that basically finds this is to subtract the two y values of the points, y2 minus y1, that's the rise, and then divide it by the run, x2 minus x1. So I have the point set up like this. So I'm going to say 12 is y2. So y2 minus y1 would be 12 minus negative 2 divided by 4 minus 0. And that gives me 14 over 4. If we reduce that, it's 7 over 2, and that's our slope, which brings us to the answer, choice B. All right, hope this helped.